We're developing the largest business for the whole history of civilization. This is that Stevenson, Ford and Boeing have made together. This revolutionary transport system is essential for every country, every city, every family and every man. It is essential for humanity. The development of Transport Innovation Rail Skyway has taken 36 years and over 7 billions of rubles. For selling the technology, it is necessary to build test sections on which the technology will be certified and demonstrated to the customers from all over the world. For this purpose, in the nearest three years, we should invest the assets proprietate to the committed ones. After that, we will become the first in the world transport sector, the volume of which exceeds the Russia's budget several times, and occupy not less than 50% of this market. Boeing is one of the brightest examples demonstrating such facts of history. Empires are to be ruined, the Soviet Union has fallen apart, but its infrastructure, traffic on mostly, has been still functioning, like the Trans-Siberian Railway. That was built a century ago and passed through the revolution as well as civil war and world wars. The track structure of Skyway is based on the string rail technology. These tracks will serve for the benefit of the people for ages, bringing the profits to those who once have ventured and invested their money into this innovation technology. Being certified, the project of innovation will turn into the project of investment. Then the base of this technology-targeted transport project will be realized on all the continent of our planet. Every investor, depending on the volume of its committed facilities into this technology, will own kilometers or meters of these tracks. As for infrastructure, ownership and its dividends, they will devolve to future generations. Inexpensive, safe, effective roads are not required for the state and government officials, but for ordinary people, who pay fares out of their pockets. And these people are not just users, they are taxpayers too, so to say, it is required only for us. For this reason, it was decided to start the innovation corporatization at English law on the terms profitable for investors. New investors have the chance now to buy the shares of our company with large discounts. Today it costs several thousand rubles, but tomorrow it will cost millions of rubles. Let's build our future worth living together, comfortable, safe, ecologically clean, with high living standard. Let's build the future, which will be able to devolve to our children and grandchildren for no shame. Yes, go, cool. no, artist, do something. Okay, I hope that Lelda will fix um, her presentation, because uh, obviously, so I came, but I will give her permission. Um, so, Lelda, now, now you have this... Uh, Mm, presenter option, so you you can you can prob uh, you can do it. Um, we believe. Yes, cool. So there is a little screen. Thanks God. So uh, yes, cool. Um, what I would like to say. So um, I'm at the moment in a, like a office in Latvia. So we had their uh, presentation. So it was uh, very good. Um, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I still have people there, you know, and they're like um, doing some trouble for us. Uh, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have um, a presentation with me, so that's why we we really need Lelde, uh, and there she is. So, all what I really apologize about the situation, what happened. So this is technical issues. So for the future, probably we will find you know other computers. And um, I hope that you will enjoy it and you will not judge us, you know, for our first presentation because uh, trust me, so all of us, we are stressing and I know that uh, for sure it's not only we are stressing but our computer is stressing as well. Uh, I would like to, <coughs> yeah, um, I would like to uh, present Falak, Falak, can you please switch off your screen? Yeah, hello. Can you please switch off your microphone and screen? Thank you. Yeah, we still will still see you. Can you press like uh, you see there's a green button on that control panel? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yes. Yeah, so and um, 
please don't judge us. And uh, I would like to welcome uh, Leldes, who will um, who will introduce you with uh, the project what we are uh, doing. And today we are happy uh, to announce that our first uh, um, presentation in English. Well, you can you you can talk. You can try. I don't know to ask something. Are you recording this? Uh, so I will. I don't know, but I'm not recording. But maybe someone's recording. Doesn't matter. So just um, do it, and I will record it. Okay. So uh, sorry for the uh, technical issues, guys. I guess uh, technology is kind of sends humans, you know. So they kind of are stressing also. So I would, uh, well, first, good evening, ladies and gents, and other human beings. I would like you to, I would like to welcome you to the first international Skyway webinar in English, of course. Um, for those who've been following this project for like one year, I mean, you probably understand it's been an extraordinary and very long journey for us. And for those who are here the first time, welcome. It's a really great project and a great opportunity. Um, I, I don't know. Which countries are you living at the moment? But I'm 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 in UK, in London at the moment. So uh, for those who have been here, you probably can understand that traffic here is just awful. Uh, and even for those who haven't been here, I'm sure that like traffic jams and getting to work and to meetings on time is a huge problem these days. So London Underground, for example, is supposed to be the fastest transport, which kind of would make sense because it's under the ground, right? But, I mean, for those who have been here and even for those who haven't been here, you probably have heard this one too many times. Sorry, ladies and gents, we are held here at the red signal and you are late for work. Seems like it's been happening quite often and it's everywhere around the whole globe. Traffic jams are increasing and transportation systems seem to be failing. We end up getting to gym, work, meetings, a bit annoying, and, and of course late. And it's happening uh, everywhere. For example, have you seen those crazy videos from Vietnam and China where they squeeze people on the train as if there were herrings in the tin? Well, herrings on the train actually. And is it even safe? And what about even like traffic and cars and just humans and everyone who is trying to walk and get to work? For example, statistics show that in Los Angeles there's equal amount of cars and people. And I think it's pretty weird when every single person has a car. I, I don't want to e even imagine what sort of traffic jams they have there. Statistics also shows that approximately 150 million people per year have car accidents. Thousands of them die or become disabled. And the fact is this, the more of us, the more problems we are facing. And common trends are that people are moving more to the cities due to problems with getting an employment. So cities every year are getting more and more overcrowded. Have you even ever gave a thought about this major issue? And have you ever felt like there's something you would like to do about it? So today we're facing several of the major global issues. For example, lack of drinking water, hunger and climate change, lack of energy supplies, and of course, the mother of all problems, overpopulation. Martin Luther King Jr. used to call this the modern plague. But let's look back to understand where it all started. In the 18th of century, humans were hunting, practicing agriculture, and utilizing land for what it could offer. Energy included human, animal, and both labor. The most intensive energy sources were windmills. People used public roads to travel around. No cars, no traffic jam, no hassle. Just walk in the park. Later, in the 19th century, as the technology and agriculture developed from plowing to steam engines, from plowing to steam engine tractors to increase the profit on import and export, at the same time, railroads became part of our lives. 
and there are still today. If you look around, we are surrounded by this concrete jungle. You can hardly see any greenery, any parks. It's just houses, buildings, cars, and pollution. Planet is stuffed with cars, trains, buses, planes, and weird objects that I don't even know what, what how they're called. Because technology is developing every single day as we speak. Why am I telling you all this information? Well, the more people, the more technology also. Let's say, if you look back 40, 50, or even 60 years, your parents, your grandparents had a couple of gadgets at home. Some of, some of the people could afford a couple of gadgets like a refrigerator or maybe a TV, maybe a radio. But today, if you look around, we are now online. We're communicating through computers. Every single person has at least one mobile phone, car, I mean iPads, iPhones, you name it. You know it better than I do. And the demand for energy grows as we speak. There's actually made, there's actually research being made that on energy demand. For example, if the whole world would live like an average European, we would need three planet Earths to survive and sustain in the life we have today. And, and if you look at Americans, then we probably would need double that amount. Statistics also shows that we are using 30% more energy than Earth can actually reproduce. So I think Houston, we have another problem here. And the transportation is the most energy sucking industry. Movement is everything. We all need to travel to work, school, and to explore new countries. Tourism is booming today. We all want to travel. We all love to travel. We all invest in traveling. So there's no way around. We need to change the way we are moving. We are fast approaching a global transportational crisis. I'm sure everyone can sense it, feel it, and it ha it's happening every single day. The old transport systems are failing and it's the end of the road for transportation as we know so far. And it's not just my opinion. Engineers, futurists, everyone is talking about this. But the modern goal is to create technologies to harm environment as least as possible by going green. But what, from what I have seen and all the research I have done for the past year, the fact is this, that the technology is not becoming less impactful, it's becoming smarter. So what are the alternatives? Let's say 30 years from now, oil, oil reserves will run out and the combustion engines will be history. So the car you're driving now and the, ch and the train you're driving today will be, will be history. They will probably lay in a museum for tourists to admire. But for the public transport, it's a different story. The tech revolution is already here. And there's someone who already thought about how to re revolutionize this transport back in 1980s. And his name is Professor Anatoly Unitsky. Professor Unitsky is a scientist, inventor, and a businessman, author and chief designer of string technology, director of two projects of the United Nations Organization, member of USSR Cosmonautics Federation, author of over 140 inventions, 18 books, and 200 scientific articles. And that's just the beginning of the story. So, back to the 1980s. In 1978, he had this crazy idea. What if we could use the air to travel around by improving the trains we see today? What if we could lift them out the ground? It sounds crazy, and it probably did even more crazier back in the 80s. But as Peter Diamandis once says, the day before something is a breakthrough, it's a crazy idea. And it makes sense. There is no space on the ground for us to walk. So let's just use the space. So what is Skyway? Skyway is also known as Unisco String Technology and is an, an elevated transportation system where the movement is organized by means of suspended rails between the structures. Speed of the train can reach up to 500 kilometers per hour. Can you imagine that? 500 kilometers per hour. You could live in the middle of nowhere and still get to work on time. No traffic, no hassle, just in, in a blink of an eye. 
It will also not be just a transport vehicle, but an exchange of information called the transnet. But that's another story for a different day, so, so stay tuned for up, upcoming webinars. So I know it sounds crazy and for you it's hard to imagine, but let's imagine that you have in your garage right now the world's fastest car, which probably some of you know it is Bugatti Veyron, and it takes exactly 432 kilometers per, per hour. But why it spends so much energy? Because of the friction. So what if you could lift, lift the transport above the ground? What happens? Well, logically, the friction decreases. You can go with the same speed, but you are saving a lot more energy. And actually, Unitsky calculated that exactly 12 times less. So there would be three types of sc Skyway transport system, which is the cargo, inner city, and the fast speed trains. Depending on the area and on on the demand. Inner city transport will allow you to skip traffic jams, always be on time for meetings and leave the ground level for pedestrians, cars, and just people to walk and like playgrounds. It wouldn't be that nice to have more greenery considering we live in a concrete jungle. And this transport could take up to 150 kilometers per hour. The next one is the cargo. This transport will be all able to load and unload liquid, loose and special cargo automatically with just a couple of operators. Average speed 120 kilometers per hour. And the last, but my favorite one and I think it's the most exciting one, is the fast speed train. This is the train that will pick up 500 kilometers per hour and will be able to accommodate 500 people at a time and have enough energy to travel for 10,000 kilometers. Can you imagine to travel and explore unknown locations. For example, if you imagine that from London to Berlin is 1,000 kilometers, and you could travel from here to Lon from London to Berlin in just two hours. I know you can do the same with the plane, but don't forget you have to go to the airport, you need to check in, check out, and it's just a hassle. And we all hate airports because it's just annoying. So there are quite a lot of benefits to this technology. For example, decrease of capital expenditure for constructions, reduction of operating costs. My most favorite one is accessing remote locations, islands and seashells, reduction of repair costs and war costs. And it's pretty logical because it would take so much less space. Because if you build a road, it takes forever and it costs at least 10 million dollars per kilometer and you're actually damaging soil and you're harming environment and animals. For example, statistics shows that by 2030 quarter of species will extinct. So, I mean, there's no miracle that that will happen. For example, power, power supplies from wind and solar will be able to implement with this technology. And of course, it doesn't harm environment, and I think that's the most important thing we need to concentrate on. Also, stability to ice, glaciation, snowdrifts, fog, dust, and sandstorms. I know it's hard to, to grasp, but it will be built on a similar idea as the houses in Japan and Hong Kong that are built on anti-levitation. Anti that means that we have stability to natural disasters like hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, and tsunamis. Maybe some of you are familiar with this city, which is Mazdar. And it's the first post, post petroleum city in the world, and it's built on one planet living concept. How many of these we could possibly build by having the right and most effective infrastructure in place? Like for example, I don't know what's going on in your minds right now, but back to Martin Luther King. Overplay, overpopulation is, is the modern plague. But have you ever wondered why? Considering Earth has enough for everyone, it, it's huge. 
but because everyone is concentrating on the on the on the mega cities, on the capital of, of the countries that we already know and we already have explored. But what about all that land that is just there and no one is living on it? So with implementing Skyway, we could fix a lot of major issues. Because I think the world is living under this scarcity of resources that it's not available for everyone. It is, but it's not yet accessible. But the good news are that the more, te that the more technically sophisticated we become, the life quality is increasing. And the good news are also that the technology is developing exponentially. What does that mean? The future is closer than you think and it's better than you can imagine. And it's possible to make it happen, but we would need your help and support. Before we move on to my colleague Mila, I would, I would like to quote Buckminster Fuller, who is an amazing entrepreneur and, and philanthropist. And he says, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. So what does that mean? It means that you need to change it. If we want to make the world a better place, we need to change things the way they are, not replace them. And the best way to predict the future is by creating and investing in it. So thanks for listening. On to Mila now. Hello guys, uh, can you see my screen? Can you put classes if you can? Okay, perfect. And let's talk about money. Uh, what is investment? Um, it's actually pretty simple. Investing means uh, putting your money into to work for you. Uh, there are many, many ways to um, invest your money. Uh, this includes putting it into stocks, um, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate, or even starting your own business. Um, each of these vehicles has positive and negative sides. Um, the point is it doesn't really matter which methods you choose for investing your money. The goal is always to put your money into something which will work for you and earn additional profit. Even though it's a simple idea, it's uh, the most important concept for you to understand. Obviously, everybody wants to have more money. And it's pretty easy to understand that people invest because they want to increase their personal freedom, sense of security, and ability to afford the thing they want in their life. However, investing can um, become a necessity in our days. And when everybody works at the same job for like 30 years and then retires to a nice fat pension, gone. For average person, investing is not so much as a helpful tool. This is the only way they can retire and maintain their present lifestyle. Uh, generally speaking, um, investors have a few factors to consider when looking for the right place to park their money. Safety on capital, um, current income, capital appreciation are these factors that should influence an investment decision and also will depend on the person's age, position, lifestyle and personal circumstances. Just for example, a um, 75 years old lady is far more sensitive in protection of her investment than 30 years old businessman would be. An investment um, an investor financial position will also affect on his or her objections. Um, Peter Lynch, one of the greatest investors all the time, has said that the key organ for investing is the stomach, not the brain. In other words, you need to know how much risk you can stand to see your um, investments. Um, we already mentioned that there are a few um, ways to invest your money. Of course, to decide which investment is um, suitable for you, you need to know the characteristics and why they may be suitable for a particular um, uh, investing objectives. We will go a bit more detail on other type of um, webinar. purpose of this one just to give you a brief idea what is investment and why it's important to invest.
Um, I guess the most common investment um, alternatives, they are on the right hand side. Uh, most of us heard about bank deposits, um, ICE investment, it's quite secure and can bring you up to 50% um, on five years time. From another hand, a Forex. It's very risky investment. Statistics show that around 95% um, people um, fail at forex trading. Uh, however, another 5% um, they can make a fortune up to a thousand, uh, the greater than the initial investment. And the real estate. Um, it's very popular, especially here in London. However, it also can be quite risky if you don't know what strategy to use and where to buy. It's actually also required to have a um, lump sum of money to start with. Um, Skyway investment. Um, Skyway, uh, Skyway to choose um, choose um, equity-based investment um, where users or crowd invest in business and receive shares in return. So investors become a shareholders of the business and they can benefit from the profit and the dividends. Uh, we're all familiar with these companies, but only few of us thought how these companies become successful and who financed their technology innovation. Uh, for example, Boeing. From 1975 to 1995, the stock price has increased from $1.64 to $67, so it's 40 times greater. Uh, same with the Microsoft. From 1985 to 1995, the stock price increased from uh, $1.93 to $90.50, it's 46.8 um, times greater. Uh, so we all heard about these stories, but we probably uh, never thought how they done. So uh, Skyway, we're not only the one who doing it. We had a uh, past stories, um, but um, I guess in order for average person to understand how and other people um, and other companies um, earn great success, they also need to understand what is investment in the first place. Uh, let's talk about investment plan of the Skyway. Um, as you can see, we have 15 stages. Um, at the moment, we are on the stage number four. Uh, this target, um, the target is to meet IPO in 2017. Um, IPO is initial public offering. Uh, this marks at the moment when company is ready to capitalize. Every stage requires funding. At this point, it's necessary to gather seven million. Uh, for the project to be completed by 2017, investors need to put together 300 million, which is to be fair, um, for this revolutionary project is very, very reasonable. What is your return? Of course, before you put in money, you want to understand what is there for me. So if you have a look on this table, uh, let's, um, let's say, for example, you invest 1,000 pounds today. Um, you will buy um, shares in a package, uh, 200,000 shares, which is estimated cost on 2017 will be 200,000 pounds, which is not bad at all. Um, I, um, I guess you would not be able to find any other investment which can bring you um, same, um, same or great return. It's just, it just impossible. Um, five reasons to invest. And just to um, summarize what we have learned today so far. First one is um, global company ownership. Uh, you will become one of the owners of the world's largest transport corporation. You also have opportunity to take part in the change in world technology, which will be accessible to billions of people on the planet. Uh, the company owns also ex um, exclusive rights to technology stream transport. According to independent experts, cost of this technology is 250 billion pounds. Um, as also forecast shown, after IPO, public price will be one pound per share. That's exactly the reason why if you will have 200,000 shares, you will receive 200,000 pounds. And lifelong dividends, um, mean, which means that um, after capitalization, you will be able to uh, receive the dividends, uh, which will bring you profit correlating with the number of shares you own. And also these dividends can be passed to your children and grandchildren and so on. So I guess uh, for today, um, that's all. Uh, me and Lalbe, we summarized the main reasons for this technology to exist and why it's important to invest. And if you guys have any questions, you can go back to the people who introduced you to this webinar. Um, otherwise, we also um, will be in touch. If you need any questions, you can also uh, find the details on the um, um, Skyway um, webpage where all information is available. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.
Okay, guys, so how do you hear me? Hello? Okay, cool. Uh, so sorry, uh, sorry for delay. And, stop recording, uh, stop recording. Oh, stop recording, yes. <laughs> okay, so you see, um, we still need to get used to this um, go to meeting control, uh, we could control this uh, thingy, but um, uh, the main the main reason so why we you know, ask you to join today this webinar is to uh, to start you know from uh, start to do little steps uh, further our um, all of our, like uh, all our future and um, I really appreciate uh, that you were here with us uh, uh, that long and uh, all these technical problems so we will try in the future to you know reduce and uh, try to skip if you have any questions so as Mila said already so please go back to your um, the person who will introduce to this meeting and uh, or if you have some like a common uh, question so you can ask here and also there will be some uh, person who will be able to answer um, today uh, we would like to uh, say thank you and uh, Next time we will uh, prepare much better. Um, We're gonna prepare our co computers <laughs> better. No. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm not saying so that uh, this presentation was bad, but uh, the thing is, um, the computer, uh, computers, and all that uh, system. We need to work on it. That's don't worry, the technical revolution is coming. Exactly. Anyway, and also the bigger. The art is the bigger the pause, right? So, absolutely. Absolutely. So, thank you very much uh, one more time for all of us to participate, and uh, please uh, tell your friends and friend of friends so that uh, they're already we we launched this um, webinars uh, for English speaking people, and uh, we will do it uh, more often. And we can't at the moment say uh, exactly how many times a week, but uh, uh, definitely we will try once a week at least, and you will get all the information on your email. Thank you, guys.